Hello, I'm Mike with some regional geology from the University of Wisconsin Superior. I would like to start with some terms to get you acquainted with the subject. I will be talking about continental accretion, a result of which is represented here in the Thompson Slate Formation found at Jay Cook State Park in Minnesota, and the zone of subduction and a convergent plate boundary. There are two types of crust dense oceanic crust and the lighter continental crust. Uh, oceanic lithosphere being denser in nature slides beneath the lighter continental lithosphere when these two types of land masses meet. The convection cycle of the mantle at a divergent plate boundary pushes the ocean floor towards the subduction zone and the, uh, under the overriding plate. You can see how the terrain is scraped off onto the continental landmass. Over billions of years, these events have contributed to the geologic diversity of Minnesota and Wisconsin as we know them today. We have the Siberia province in the colored area and the Mississippi River Valley as the orangish tan color in the bottom left. These two collided an estimated 2.8 billion years ago. And now I will show you a video in hopes that it makes this process a little clearer. 1.8 billion years ago, a volcanic arc was accreted to the Superior Province, found in northern Wisconsin along the Niagara Fault Zone, and subsequently caused the formation of a belt of metamorphosed rock in Minnesota. The subduction zone pushes the lithosphere under the continental crust, and as this process continues, it slowly brings land closer to the zone, and when these two masses meet, they join, and this is the definition of accretion. Chemical weathering breaks down the quartz and feldspar which make up the majority of continental rock. Uh, that erodes down the mountain and is deposited over the accreted land masses until a gentle slope is formed. I hope this helped and thanks for watching.